factorize m square minus 2mn plus n square minus 9r. So we are giving m square minus 2mn plus n square minus 9r. These are the terms given to us. That is the algebraic expression terms given to us. And we are told to factorize. If we can factorize this one, we first have to focus on one, two, three terms. Okay, good. Now, if you focus on these three terms, we expand these three terms to get four terms. That is the first step. By doing that, we are going to expand the negative 2m. You know, we have negative 2mn here. Now, that can be rewritten as what? Negative mn minus mn. Okay? Negative mn minus mn is the same as what? Negative 2mn. Okay? So, you write this in place of the negative 2mn. So, that one will be m squared minus mn minus mn plus n square okay let me group this one so that you will not get confused now we have our 9r here so these are the ones we are working on and that is the one we've expanded to get the four tens now that we've expanded this we will factorize these ones in the bracket okay because we have four terms here and by factorization, we take the first two, we factorize it, then we take the last two here, we factorize those two also. Now, we have M here, we have M here, so you write what? M. We don't have N here, but we have N here, so you open a bracket. Now, we have M squared. So, if you get a factor left here, you divide the M squared by the common factor M, right? And that one will take up this, it will be left with what? m here minus we have mn divided by the common factor which is m so this will take this off and it will be left with what n you close the brackets now we come to the next two terms okay we have negative mn plus n square so what are the common values here the common values are what n and n so n is common to the two therefore minus n now you open your brackets. What is left here? Negative m n divided by the common value negative n. So negative cancel negative n divides n. Now it will left with what? m here. Then we have positive n square divided by the common factor negative n. Okay. Now n divides this. Since it's positive divided by negative, it will be what? Negative n. So negative n is left here. Let me write this in a bracket. Now we have our minus 9r left here. Now you see that we have m minus n, m minus n. So we can write them as one term, okay? So we have m minus n. In a bracket, then write those outside the bracket to those are also what m minus n that two in a bracket minus 9r. Okay, now m minus n, m minus n, they are multiplying. Okay, that is why they are in brackets, they are multiplying. So that means the same values are multiplying themselves. Okay, so we can write it in a square form as m minus n multiplying itself two times you get it that is m minus n square okay then minus 9 r now that we've reached here we now tackle the 9 r you see that 9 is a square number so we can find square root of 9 and then we can also find the square root of r so the square root of 9 is what 3 and the square root of r will be because r was not in square r wasn't r square it is rather r okay so if we write something like this and then we find the square of it still it will give us the same thing three square will give us what nine and then root r square will give us what 
R, okay? So we can write this one in place of this. I hope you get me. Now we get M minus N all square minus into brackets 3 square root of R all square. This one is the same as square root of 9R. So now that we've reached here, the next thing to do is, now you see we have M minus N all square and then 3 root R all square. So these are two different terms in a bracket, okay? All having squares and they are being subtracted. So we have difference of two squares here. Now over here, we are going to use the difference of two squares formula. Okay, to help us further factorize the expression. Now, the difference of two squares formula states that whenever you have values, for instance, a square minus b square, now it can be factorized to get a final result as a plus b multiplying a minus b. Okay. So, in this case, the a will be replaced with what? m minus n. That is a here, a square, m minus n square, okay? And then the b will be replaced with what? 3 root r. That is 3 root r square, we have b square here, okay? So in place of a, you write this. In place of b, you write that. So our next step will be, in place of a, we have m minus n, right? Plus b is what? 3 root r. R. I hope you get me. Now, let's close our brackets. We open the second bracket. We come to A. M minus N. So, we write our M minus N. Minus B. So, minus B. 3 root R. We close the brackets. So, finally, the factorized form of M square minus 2MN plus N square minus 9r is what? m minus n plus 3 root r multiplying m minus n minus 3 root r. 